If you feel exhausted by the skyrocketing prices of commercial fish feed, if you look at your pond and only see a money pit where your hard-earned capital disappears, stop right now. Most pond owners make the fatal mistake of feeding fish just to sell meat, while the true strategic producer cultivates water to harvest wealth. 70% of your costs are currently tied up in bags of feed that increase in price every season. It is a losing battle if you keep playing by the rules of the conventional industry that wants you dependent on their inputs. Today, we are changing the game. I am not going to teach you traditional aquaculture. I am going to teach you to think like an ecosystem engineer. We are going to turn your property into a smart biological machine, where your land feeds the pond and the pond returns fertility to your soil, eliminating the need for chemical fertilizers and industrial pellets. Welcome to the era of the self-sustaining homestead pond, where success doesn't depend on breaking your back hauling heavy bags, but on the intelligence with which you integrate every ecological niche on your land. To achieve this level of productive sovereignty, we must break a deep-seated mental paradigm. A fish is not just a consumer of pellets, it is a biological function in motion. Every species swimming in your water has an instinct and a metabolic capacity that, if properly channeled, becomes a mechanical labor that you are currently paying for with electricity bills for aerators or chemicals for nitrite control. Why buy imported protein when you have a living tool that transforms waste into premium meat? The key is to stop being a laborer and become the director of a biological orchestra. When you manage to make the waste of one species the resource of another, you have created a closed loop of profitability. For this system to thrive, we must understand the carrying capacity of our pond. It's not about stocking fish at random, but about respecting a polyculture design where each animal occupies a different depth and dietary role, allowing for higher densities naturally by balancing oxygen and nutrients. We begin with the backbone of any efficient system. The tilapia. Tilapia is not just a fish, it is a survival and conversion machine occupying the upper and middle layers of the water column. Its greatest virtue is its extreme omnivory, making it the primary manager of our first pillar of savings, green water management. A strategist knows that emerald green water isn't dirty, it's a massive buffet of phytoplankton. By fertilizing the water with resources from your homestead, we generate these microscopic algae that tilapia filter constantly. This doesn't just provide 24-7 free food, it performs a vital biosecurity role. By consuming excess algae, tilapia prevent eutrophication, that dangerous phenomenon where algae die off en masse and strip the pond of oxygen overnight, protecting the entire system from sudden crashes. To take these savings further, we implement an on-site green protein factory using duckweed and azola. These floating plants, grown in protected corners of your pond or inside tanks, act as biological solar panels, transforming sunlight and water nutrients into biomass with up to 40% protein content. Azola, in particular, has a symbiotic relationship with cyanobacteria that fix nitrogen from the air, meaning you are literally harvesting fertilizer from the sky and turning it into fish food. By feeding these fresh plants to your tilapia, you reduce the need for external protein by over 60%. The tilapia process this material and, through their waste, release pre-digested nutrients that feed the phytoplankton again, creating an internal feeding loop that requires minimal human intervention and optimizes your feed conversion ratio naturally. The Triploid Grass Carp If you have lawn clippings or garden weeds, you have a pond supply warehouse that you are likely wasting. The grass carp is the biological equivalent of a lawnmower. Its primary instinct is to consume fibrous plant material. Here we integrate the concept of terrestrial biomass recycling. While other producers see grass clippings, dandelion greens, or overgrown alfalfa as waste, the smart homesteader sees them as low-cost, high-energy fuel. It is crucial to note that in most U.S. states, you must stock triploid grass carp, which are sterile by law to prevent environmental issues. These fish have a relatively inefficient digestive system that doesn't fully break down cellulose, which might sound like a flaw, but for us, it's a strategic virtue. Because they don't fully digest the fiber, their waste is rich in pre-processed organic matter that serves as direct food for bottom-feeding species, acting as a nutritional bridge between the land and the pond sediment. This integration reduces your homestead's lawn maintenance costs to zero and transforms it into net profit. By feeding the carp with garden surpluses, like overgrown zucchini or squash, you are performing trans-ecosystem nutrient management. You are moving nitrogen and minerals from the soil into the water. Furthermore, grass carp occupy the upper stratum to feed, meaning they don't compete for space with bottom dwellers. In terms of density, you should maintain a ratio calculated based on your land's biomass production. This ensures that any vegetation you toss into the pond is processed immediately, preventing the accumulation of rotting organic matter that could spike ammonia levels. The carp is, in essence, a reactor that grinds terrestrial forage so the rest of the aquatic ecosystem can digest it more easily. The Channel Catfish Every living system generates sediment and waste that falls to the pond floor. 
In conventional aquaculture, this marks the start of a sanitary catastrophe due to the buildup of toxic hydrogen sulfide gases. However, for us, the channel catfish is the preventative biosecurity and sanitation agent. Its job is to patrol the bottom and eliminate infection hotspots before they emerge. By consuming heavy organic debris and harmful insect larvae, the catfish breaks the life cycle of many parasites that affect scaled fish. It is your biological life insurance, working in the dark to keep the water chemically stable and healthy for your higher value species. To boost their growth at no cost, we install black soldier fly larvae BSFL, bins over the water's surface. By feeding these larvae your kitchen scraps, spoiled fruit and garden waste, you are transforming trash into living concentrate with 45% protein and essential fats that the catfish devour instantly as they fall into the water. This self-harvesting technique eliminates the need for expensive high-protein commercial feeds. Additionally, catfish help gently stir the bottom, preventing the formation of stagnant methane pockets. By the end of the cycle, the catfish has not only kept your pond free of pathogens, but has also become a premium, highly valued meat, having grown exclusively on system maintenance and insect biomass. The Yellow Perch For producers in the northern states or regions with harsh winters, the yellow perch is your cold-hardy specialist. While tilapia might struggle when temperatures drop, the yellow perch thrives, filling the kachama role of the north. This species is essential for winter management strategy. They remain active even under the ice, ensuring that the biological movement of the pond doesn't grind to a halt during the cold months. They are highly efficient at converting small invertebrates into high-quality flaky white meat that is a staple in the American market. From a system robustness standpoint, yellow perch are vital because they occupy a different thermal niche. During the summer, they retreat to deeper, cooler waters, leaving the warm surface to the tilapia and bass. This vertical and thermal stacking allows you to maximize every cubic foot of your pond throughout the entire year. By utilizing the natural cycle of aquatic insects like mayflies and midges that hatch in your pond, the yellow perch grows without the need for supplemental grain. They are the key to ensuring your homestead produces food 365 days a year, regardless of the frost on the ground. The Bluegill Now we reach the employee working at the microscopic and insectoid level. The bluegill, or sunfish, is fundamental for long-term self-sustainability because it serves as the primary forage base of the system. They are machine-like in their ability to hunt mosquitoes, water boatmen, and midges, providing a critical service of pest control around your home. But their true strategic value lies in their reproduction. Bluegills spawn multiple times a year, creating a constant supply of live feed for your larger predatory fish. In a smart design, the bluegill population acts as a buffer, they consume the tiny zooplankton and insects that are too small for the catfish or bass to notice, effectively upcycling microscopic energy into a bite-sized fish that the rest of the ecosystem can use. This eliminates the need to buy feeder fish or fish meal-based pellets. To keep them thriving, you can occasionally toss in red wiggler worms from your vermicompost bin. It's a perfect balance. The bluegill keeps the insect population in check, feeds your larger money fish, and provides a fun, easy harvest for the family table, all while maintaining the biological equilibrium of the water column. The Freshwater Crayfish This is your bottom engineer and detritus cleaning crew. While others spend fortunes on mechanical filtration or pond vacuums, the strategic homesteader utilizes the natural behavior of the crayfish, or crawdad. By scavenging the bottom for decaying matter and small snails, these crustaceans perform a mechanical labor that prevents sediment compaction. Their constant movement at the substrate level helps with the nitrogen cycle, ensuring that fish waste is broken down efficiently from ammonia into nitrites and finally into nitrates, which are much safer and act as fertilizer for your pond plants. This controlled agitation is the secret to keeping your natural food production at its peak. By breaking down large particles of waste, crayfish make nutrients more available for the beneficial bacteria and algae that feed your tilapia. They are a zero-input crop that lives off the crumbs of the other species. In many parts of the country, crayfish are a high-value gourmet item. By harvesting them, you are literally pulling profit out of the dirt of your pond. They ensure the energy in your system never gets trapped in the mud but flows back into the food chain. The Largemouth Bass Finally, the largemouth bass enters the system as the manager of capital and biological balance. Having built an ecosystem where the other six specialists maintain the water quality and provide a constant food source, the base can focus exclusively on growing into a trophy-sized product. The base is your top-tier predator. Its job is to manage the bluegill population, ensuring they don't overpopulate and stunt their growth. It provides the selection pressure that keeps the entire pond healthy and vigorous. But the true secret of professional success doesn't end with the fish. It's about the advanced fertigation cycle. 
The water from a well-managed pond, rich in nitrates and organic phosphorus, is the best liquid fertilizer on the planet. Instead of seeing a water change as a chore, the strategist sees it as harvesting liquid gold. By pumping this nutrient-dense water to your corn, orchards, or hayfields, you close the regenerative homestead loop. This fish water makes your land crops grow with a vigor that no synthetic fertilizer can match, which in turn allows you to produce more biomass to feed your carp and tilapia. It is an infinite cycle of abundance where the word waste has been deleted from the dictionary. In this system, you are no longer a slave hauling imported feed bags, nor a producer dependent on global supply chains to stay viable. You are the architect of a perfect life cycle. When you stop fighting nature with chemicals and start collaborating with its biology, economic benefits stop being a difficult goal and become an inevitable result of your strategic vision. I challenge you today to walk your land and identify those resources, those leaves, those fruits, and those waste products you are currently ignoring. Success isn't bought at the farm supply store, it is designed with intelligence on your own soil. Take control of your production, trust your biological allies, and prepare for the most profitable, sustainable, and honest harvest of your life. To your success, fellow breeder. Until next time.